Hi, this is Ken Gruber. We're here in the Transact demo room. I'm going to show you how to use Scrapyard Dog with this QuickBooks interface today. If you notice, we have QuickBooks running here. This is the home screen of QuickBooks Online. And you'll see that we have, you can get a quick outlook of your company. Here's all of our uh, invoices and where we stand on our invoices. Here's our expenses. Here's how much Ferris, non Ferris cars, different categories of uh, items that we've purchased within the last 30 days. And it gives us a little uh, profit and loss to see how we're doing over that period of time. The problem with using QuickBooks as online is getting the numbers in there. Uh, in a scrap environment, QuickBooks isn't set up for doing gross tear or taking the images required. So I'm going to show you how to use Scrapyard Dog to capture a transaction. So I'm going to use a cell phone. You can use any mobile device to use Scrapyard Dog. As a matter of fact, that's the only hardware requirement, is some type of mobile device or a computer. Um, Scrapyard Dog is an HTML package. It runs on a, on a web page on your device. And if you notice, we've got three buttons here, vendors, open, and close. So we got, this will be your list of vendors, this will be your open tickets that you're still working on, and the closed tickets that need to be paid in the, in the future. So first I'm going to select the vendors, which is going to go to QuickBooks and give us a list of the vendors. It also uh, grabs whatever picture we have in there, whether we scanned it in or took the picture with our phone. It'll be in here, so we're going to scroll down, select one of our vendors here, and say new ticket. Right now it's going to QuickBooks and it's going to create a purchase order for this vendor. So when the ticket comes up, we'll be looking at the, the information for the ticket. We're going to add a commodity. If you notice, we have a, uh, a radiator. I'll say it's a clean radiator on the scale. And then we're going to grab the weight off the scale. So it tells you right here that it, it did take a picture, so we have a camera pointing at the scale. So if you look down at the ticket, you'll see that there's a, an image there. You can also, if you, if you don't have an automated camera, you can just push the camera button and take a photo or video of whatever you're going to get a picture of. We'll get more detail on this radiator, and we'll just use that photo. So now there'll be two, two pictures of that gross weight that we got on that device or on that, on that purchase. So now that we have the uh, commodity in here, we, uh, con there's a button down here for sign a contract. <clears throat> so the customer will sign on here saying that it's his material. And again, that will be added to your group of pictures for this transaction. So now we can close the ticket to be paid later. We can hold it if it was a non ferris transaction and the truck had to drive off the scale or we can close and pay it. We'll just go ahead and close and pay it at this point. We get a warning that says that uh, there's no tear weight. We'll say that's okay at this point. There's no tear weight on this item. And now it's gonna take that purchase order and create a bill in QuickBooks that you can either pay here, you can pay with a check later out of QuickBooks, which you can use all the QuickBooks tools to track your checks in your checking account. We're just gonna say we're gonna pay it cash. I'm gonna press the button for pay and that completes the ticket. So now it's in QuickBooks, your accounting's complete, you've got all the records you need for, your, uh, for compliance, and you can do it all with a mobile device.